So a typical day at the farm, first of all, there probably isn't really one. It's very um, a very diverse and dynamic environment. Actually, my typical day starts by checking the animals. So every day I would come in first thing, check the animals, make sure they're comfortable, they've got food. We welcome the volunteers at about 10 o'clock, but they like to come in for half nine, some of them. So um, we welcome the volunteers, set them off to work, um, and then we have a tea break at half. 11 which is a great time to have a catch up and a chat and then we have a lunch break at about one o'clock where the volunteers come down and have lunch with us again um the staff get half an hour so in that time we usually sort of spend a bit of time with the volunteers again and find out what they've been up to um and then we go back to work well they go back to work and i go back to my spreadsheets uh, until about until about four o'clock and i usually come out at about 10 to 3 just to make sure i can say thank you to everybody um if anybody's got any concerns they can have a chat with me uh, we've got to make sure the site's locked down it's a it's a kind of a diverse and busy site so lots of lots sort of locking down and, and things to do um, and then the very last thing i do before i leave again is just pop in on the animals make sure everyone's comfortable that they've got plenty of water plenty of food um and you know they're not giving birth or anything exciting so like that me ideally i'm out here with the volunteers out in the garden um loving life i have a team of um up to i guess kind of eight to ten people i had last week um and it's about kind of giving everyone the very best day that they can possibly have um, and making sure that there's loads of different jobs available so people can do different jobs, mix up the different groups that are working together so you've got people working in pairs or threes. If people need a bit of extra support then maybe that comes from me, maybe it comes from the other volunteers so it's kind of mixing the day up for everyone so that it's really, um, yeah, just really successful and really positive and everyone kind of either learn something new or share something new or just has a really lovely day. There's lots of different yeah. jobs they're doing. We've got lots of different groups that we work with. I might be working with uh, children in schools doing gardening one day. I might be doing a woodworking project with some of our adults the next. Uh, it's all, all very varied. There's no such thing as a typical day on the farm. Every single day is different. And that's one of the things I love about it. It's such a varied job. We work with different people every day. Um, whether you're in animals or grounds, there's always something different going on. Um, mostly good. Occasionally we have some volunteers with extra needs or we've got extra things to deal with. Um, but it just keeps every day interesting. We've always got something else going on. Well, you've very much got to think on your feet, if you know what I mean. Uh, we've, as I've said, we've got quite a wide variety of folk, um, different people with different needs and so it's just about making sure that there's something for everyone really. Sometimes it feels like, like I might have three or four things going on that I'm trying to supervise and making sure everyone's safe. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it can be a little bit hectic. As a charity, one of our biggest challenges is raising funds and we're all um, responsible for, for doing some fundraising, whether that's writing funding bids, um, getting involved with community events uh, it's a real team effort um, but again it's it's such a hard thing because uh, it's a very competitive market there's so many charities that need help so that is really really one of the challenging things just uh, getting our message across to show and illustrate really what we do I guess the most yeah the most challenging bit of the work is is finding the time to do everything um, there always feels out like there aren't quite enough hours in the day that can be difficult. You always want to help people the best that you can. And um, sometimes I guess if I feel that I haven't done my best for someone that, that disappoints me. Um... The thing I find most challenging about working on the farm as a manager is the amount of spinning plates I sometimes have from um, managing various projects. Um, but it creates a really good atmosphere and I thrive in the chaos and um, yeah, very rarely they fall. Um, and it just creates lots of opportunities for lots of different people, which is great. It's a small team and there's always lots to do, so that can be a bit tricky. And physically and emotionally it can be quite challenging, but I still think that it, the challenges are outweighed by the uh, positives. The positives are much better than the, the challenges. I love that. Again, you're never going to know what you're going to be doing exactly. You have an idea of what you're coming in for, but you never know how it's going to pan out. And I love that, but also sometimes when things don't pan out the way you expected them to, or hope they, they would, it can be a little bit stressful. Um, or times when like you have an idea of like, you know what you're doing that day, but the people that you're working with don't want to, it can get a little bit stressful trying to work around that and figure out a way to actually keep people happy and engaged. 
So there's lots of challenging things about working here, I'm not going to lie. Um, a lot of it's to do with sort of time management. There often feels like there's way, way, way too much work um, for the amount of time we've got. Um, we also obviously deal with a lot of people who are in crisis and therefore there's a kind of lot of reactive work and um, just, you know, dealing with people who are emotionally um, going through a lot. Um, and there's a sort of sense of it's not always easy to leave that at the door when you leave work for the day. Um, it'd be nice if you could leave it at the gate, but obviously you, you care about people and people are going through tough things. So um, I think the, the sort of how busy it can feel and how you can sometimes feel you've never done any of what you planned to that day uh, and a combination of the sort of emotional toll really of supporting people who are going through so much. It's, you know, I always say it's an absolute honour to do that work, but it, but it does, you know, you do take it home and it is really, it can be really sad. Um, but then it makes it even better when it all turns around for them. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Uh, I love that every day is different. Uh, I love the different challenges that different young people bring to me and working with a whole variety of young people from the ages of 0 to 18 and they all come with varying needs and varying um, personalities and just helping them get outdoors and connect with nature and um, enjoy working with tea and the animals and just enjoy getting their hands dirty. It's a charity that focuses on health and well-being so there's a good work home life balance that's really important for me i love it that we're making a real difference to people's lives to the volunteers the testimonies of the volunteers are incredible and i love the fact we're making a difference to the environment probably actually seeing the outcomes of the people that come here like myself being one of them having benefited so much from coming here then getting actually to see that in other people, see them week by week, getting more confident, doing more things, doing things that they didn't think they were capable of before. Um, and learning so much is amazing. And then when they start to then like support other people, like we support them, that that's really beautiful. For me, it's all about the volunteers getting the most out of their day, really. Uh, so finding work that they uh, see the value in, that they're learning something, uh, they're enjoying working together. Um, I think when you see somebody kind of really getting into what they're doing, especially when they get a chance to take the initiative, that's what really what it's all about for me. The thing that I enjoy most is the volunteers. Oh, obviously, and the animals, but the volunteers itself. Um, look at, working alongside people, uh, you know, they can tell you new things, you tell them new things, um, and just putting a smile on people's faces. And then putting a smile on mine. I'm always happy, but yeah. spread the joy. <laughs> the thing about working on farm is that every day is different. You never know what you're going to be getting up to when you get in. Um, you might be feeding a goat a cup of tea one day. You might be um, shoveling a load of compost. You might be building a planter from scratch from wood from the woodshed. So very varied. So I think the thing I enjoy about working on the farm the most is probably um, the way it literally changes people's lives and um, people come into low confidence they won't even look you in the eye um, and then within a few weeks they're uh, uh, basically winding you up and joining in the joining in the kind of um, workplace silliness and you just see s such quick turnarounds in people from low confidence to so much joy so that's the best thing and then of course now years later I bump into people who it helped years ago and they tell me how much impact it had on them um, so it, it's 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 the impact of the work. It's it is tough, but it's amazing. It really changes people's lives. Um, obviously, I get to hang out with animals and an awesome team as well. And the volunteers just you know they just make me smile every day. They're great. Apart from the worms, I love just working. Love love working with the volunteer groups. It's just an amazing. It's an amazing place to work. Um, it's just it's incredible to be part of a, a community that is so. Um, so tolerant and welcoming and supportive and I think you know every time I come in that's what I love about working here is the people that we work with and also being able to help people make changes in their lives they come here at a certain point where they want to uh, do something differently um, and it's being able to offer them that opportunity and support them into, into making that change. I think our young people enjoy coming to the farm because they get to escape the four walls of the classroom. They get There's a success in every single day. Nobody goes home feeling like a failure here at the farm. Everyone goes home with a success, whether that's that they've walked a donkey, they've swept a path, 
they've planted a plant, they've watched the seed grow, they've fed a pig, it's everyone has a success and I think that is fantastic and that's why um, our young people and volunteers and anyone that's coming to the farm. They get to help themselves but they also get to be helpful, they get to help other people and they get to help the environment and this particular environment. Also some people the biggest appeal is the animals, they get to help the animals, they get to look after them. Uh, one of the biggest things is that community feeling, the support that they get here, the mental well-being, the education and just the acceptance. Everyone talks about how they come here and they feel so welcomed and accepted and I know I definitely did. And a lot of these people, that's all that they need in life. Some people need a bit more but some people just need a place to actually feel at home and this is a perfect place for it. From my experience of talking with volunteers, mainly at tea breaks, um, is I find that they come here for connection, um, even if it's just to have a chat over a cup of tea and uh, make friends. Some are isolated, so it's really important to them that they can have a place and a safe space. So many reasons. I mean, people, people always come and they say, um, I want to come because I want to work with animals um, and I don't like people and I just I just want to be with animals and hug the animals but actually they love being with people most of uh, you know and and it's that it's that amazing community I think that's what people find and and so many volunteers have said to me this is the only place that I can be myself um, or you know a lot of them maybe don't go anywhere else the rest of the week or don't feel that they um, they feel they have to mask who they are and they come here feel they can be completely themselves. I think the thing volunteers enjoy most about coming here is actually just that it's fun. Um, it's a really, really funny environment. We all kind of have a laugh and a joke and you know you could perhaps go through the rest of your week without coming across someone who wants to smile at you and value you um, and yet here the whole because the volunteers come and give up their time to make it work um, they come to give something and that means that they are able to receive help in return um, yeah it's it's a combination of the practical outdoor work um, the fact that there's a job for literally anyone um, and then that, that just that just the atmosphere of hilarity and joy and fun that that makes people want to work here for free I guess and just mutual support you know beyond the fun people are a real community and really support and help each other through things and um, yeah I think that's just really magical isn't it I think volunteers enjoy coming because they can be themselves uh, like I was I came when I, you know I had not many friends or you know I was like shutting myself off from the world so when I came, started meeting people, and I could be myself, I could be loud, or I could be quiet, and I haven't got somebody asking me 20 times, what's wrong, you know, what's wrong, just, it's just, I can be me. 